Now let's look into the Firebase security rules. So if you open Firebase rules here, the rules are now set to public. It means anyone can write data or read them. So even if we are not authenticated in Firebase using login and password, we can write data or read them. So let's try this. Currently we are not logged in because we are reading this message of not logged in. Coming from this on or state changed. That tells us that if we are logged in, we will see an alert of logged in. But if we are not, we will see the alert of not logged in. In my previous video, I have shown this how to use the on or state changed or not state changed. Yes. So we can also read data, open the console. See, it's empty right now because the data is empty here. So let me now add one data without signing in. We are not signed in not logged in add the email add the name the email and some age click add here see we are seeing the alert of data added and if we check here it will be added here it will be having one document of age 25 email and the name that we just added here and we can read them also open the console see it's coming here in the console so now let's change the rules to authenticated. It means we will write data only if we are authenticated. So let me do it here. So remove this read right now. Okay, just do if allow write only if if the request dot auth is not equal to empty. So we can make it null here. So it means it will allow us to read data or write data I mean when we are logged in when the request.auth is not null if it is not null there should be some data inside the request.auth the data we get from the authentication when we sign up or sign in so second thing to write here is allow read in any case so write is authenticated proof authentication proof but not this read so publish this rule and open data tab so like now let's try data without signing in we are not logged in add the name the email and the age click add see we are getting this message called missing or insufficient permissions but we can read data so open the console we are getting the data here see the age 25 and the blah blah message or the fields here we are getting it here so now let's make the role of read to be authenticated proof as well. So do it here like this. And you will see, we will still get that error that we got in the right, right operation. So save this or publish this. Open the console. We will see the message of permission is not sufficient. So refresh the page. Not logged in. See error in the snapshot listener firebase error missing or insufficient permissions so it means we don't have permissions to read data because we are not logged in so now let's try to log in add the email and the password log in here let's see now we are logged in and if we refresh the page so see we should see the data here because it's allowing us to read after authentication now, now let's add data after authentication, the email and the age. So click add here. So see data added here. So that how authentication works. I mean, that's how the rule works in Firebase Firestore rules, authentication and all. One more thing there is here is to allow the users to uh, read or write in no cases. So it means even we are logged in or we are in the authenticated tab. It should allow us to not write data. So we will just add if false here and here as well. Okay, just make it only in the right permission. This allow us to this will allow us to write data in no cases, even if we are authenticated. So refresh page. We are logged in. Let's add data. The age. Click add. See. We don't have the permission to see the data, I mean to write data. 
so that's how firebase firestore rule works so let me change it back to this and i think we are done here for this course